Hey there, Electrical Tech. This is my flyback power supply. About 20 volts. And I pulled this transformer out of a something else. I'm not quite sure. It's right there. And these are just the plugs that switch the back here. And I also have a large bulk capacitor about 26,000 microfarads and also because it has screw terminal so it looks really cool as you can see right there you could see that and also there's the bridge rectifier and a camera tube so keep it nice and compact and protected and it works really good and it's protected in there with some hot glue filled all the way up so you know won't get dirt in there or shirt so or short circuit which would be really bad and I also have a power resistor that j -pin Halt I think you pronounce it suggested in the one power supply unit form and I'm really glad they said that because it acts as a snubber capacitor or snubber resistor for the capacitor so the capacitor doesn't always hold a charge after you um, turn off the power so it discharges it pretty quick and it's Read the voltage here. As you can see, multimeter. 20.1 volts, which is pretty darn close to 20 volts, I'd say. And made this in about a couple hours. And as usual with all my projects, I always forget a power switch which I managed to get in there after splicing some wires and then I also have a little um, AC capacitor right there, the little gray thing which you can probably not see with the crappy camera but um, should be right there 0.47 microfarad capacitor and actually get this black wood from the robotics team Actually, the other robotics team, Team 70. So we have two robotics teams at our high schools. So I stole this from them. So it was cool, and it was raised up so I can mount the transformer bolts in there. And that was my power supply for the flyback transformer and later the Tesla coil. And hope you enjoyed it.